Hi there, Alan here. So I made this piece of software called pianoshow.me, which is basically a tool for music educators or anyone to show music concepts on a keyboard. So you can, you know, play the keys here. You can play it with the mouse or you can play it with the PC keyboard or you can play it with a MIDI keyboard. So over here you have a MIDI keyboard configuration and you can see that now it's hooked up to my MIDI keyboard and everything works fine. But I started getting messages after I released it from some people who said that they have their MIDI keyboard perfectly working everywhere else, but for some reason it didn't see their MIDI keyboard. So all they could see is this no MIDI, even though they can perfectly work with it in their door. And that turned out to be a problem because the Adore took uh, exclusive control of the MIDI keyboard and you cannot have two uh, programs open and use the same MIDI keyboard, at least on Windows as far as I understand. So what do we do about that? Another thing is that the, even though Piano Show.me has this basic piano sounds, which sound uh, manageable for the most part, when you just want to show musical concept, they definitely are nothing special and you definitely can get better uh, piano sounds from your VST or something else. And you can definitely want to show same piano concept, but use very different sounds from the piano. So that's another use case that we will try to solve for in this tutorial. <music> So I'm using Reason here and let's say we want to play and hear the sound of this uh, Rhodes piano from the Radical Keys uh, Reason extension. Technically it should work in any DAW that has uh, an ability to send MIDI out, but I'm not exactly sure how it's done in other DAWs. Reason now has this MIDI out plugin. So what we want to hear is this, right? We play it on this uh, piano in Reason and it should also show the same notes that we are playing on the piano show me keyboard which is exactly the point of piano show me that you know over here you cannot see if you want to show something to people they cannot see what you're playing and that's how piano show me was born and that would be great if we could play the sounds that we want to play uh, uh, but uh, show it on piano show me so Reason now has this MIDI out device that we can drag over here. And here we have to set the MIDI output, which uh, for now is only my MIDI keyboard, which is, n n we don't want to send notes from that we play on the MIDI keyboard back to MIDI keyboard. So how do we solve this? And that's where Loop MIDI comes in. Loop MIDI is this small utility from Tobias Ericsson, which is, this is a free utility, but you can donate to support the developer, which I'm, I've just done. And this is a very simple tool. I, I think it can be more advanced, but what, I, what, what we need uh, from it is done by just pressing one button. So click here and you get your virtual MIDI port that you know routes different stuff in your MIDI. And now you have a, a MIDI port that you can send your MIDI output to. So back to reason, now we go to the MIDI out device and now we can see a, a loop MIDI port in here and we can route our sounds to MIDI. Now we want to, the same uh, sounds that go into the radical keys to go to the MIDI out port so we can just combine them in a combinator. And now we can go to the piano show me and we can also see the loop MIDI port here so we select it and if we've done everything right, it should play. So let's try. You can see the two sounds. So obviously it's working. We just turn off the piano show me sounds here. And now we play the roads in reason. and see what we are playing on Piano Show Me. And obviously you can use the same technique 
to show whatever is playing in your sequencer it doesn't have to you doesn't you don't have to be playing live you can just you know record what you're playing or just show whatever you're playing in your musical piece and show it on the keyboard right here So thank you for watching, hope this was useful, uh, ring the bell, subscribe, uh, let me know in the comments if uh, you know a different way to achieve the same result and see you next time.